Roy Orbison, the legendary American singer-songwriter, left an indelible mark on the music industry with his powerful voice, emotional ballads, and unique style. Known for his hauntingly beautiful songs like Oh Pretty Woman and Crying, Orbison's impact resonates to this day. Beyond his own artistic accomplishments, his legacy extends to his sons, Alex, Wesley, and Roy Orbison Jr., who have honored his legacy over the years. Orbison's enigmatic persona was often enhanced by his trademark dark glasses, which added an air of mystery and allure to his image. In this video, we'll take a look at the real reason behind those glasses, as well as some interesting facts about his sons and their connection to his music. Roy's Tragedies Throughout his life, Roy Orbison faced his fair share of tragedies that impacted him personally and professionally. One of the most significant occurred in 1966 when his wife Claudette passed away in a car accident. Roy was also in the crash but survived. This devastating loss left him shattered and profoundly affected his songwriting and his overall outlook on life. Just two years later, in 1968, tragedy struck again, as Orbison's home in Tennessee burned down, resulting in the loss of two of his young sons, Roy DeWayne and Anthony King. The unimaginable pain of losing his wife and two sons within such a short span of time was an immense burden for Orbison to bear. These tragedies had a profound impact on Orbison's career as well. Following the loss of his family members, his creativity waned, and he faced a decline in his musical success. But his resilience shined through, and he continued to persevere. In the 80s, he experienced a resurgence with the critically acclaimed Mystery Girl, including the hit single You Got It. This success brought him a newfound appreciation and recognition as one of the great voices in rock and roll. In an interview with Closer Magazine, one of Roy's surviving sons spoke about Roy's stoic nature. Roy Jr. said that despite the immense tragedies he went through, Roy kept a stiff upper lip. Roy Jr. even said his dad, quote, would have said he did not suffer more tragedy than other people. Despite the immense personal and professional challenges he faced, Orbison's talent and resilience endured. His ability to express deep emotions through his music resonated with audiences worldwide. His tragic life experiences added a profound depth and authenticity to his performances, making his music even more poignant and relatable. Roy's Sons Duet With Him Roy's sons, Wesley, Roy Jr., and Alex Orbison, sought out a unique way to honor their father's musical legacy. They turned to technology to create a posthumous duet with him, showcasing the power of modern innovation and the emotional connection between generations. For the reissue of Orbison's album, Mystery Girl, which came out in 2014 and was a 25th anniversary reissue, they were able to craft a duet of sorts with their dad. They had found an old recording of him doing just the vocals for the song The Way Is Love. It was a recording on a boombox by Orbison and had deteriorated in sound quality over the years. But by using advanced recording techniques and restoration software, they were able to get it sounding better. Then they carefully blended their own voices with their father's to create a heartfelt collaboration. The result was a remarkable duet that bridged the gap between past and present, allowing the sons to harmonize with their father in a way that would have otherwise been impossible. And the instrumentation of the new track was helped by the son of a fellow music icon, Johnny Cash. His son, John Carter Cash, was one of the producers of the song and helped by adding his own talents on various instruments. This groundbreaking approach not only paid homage to Roy Orbison's incredible talent, but also highlighted the enduring impact of his music and the deep bond shared between a father and his sons. The use of technology in this way showcases the transformative nature of music. Did his diet kill him? There has been speculation and a popular theory that Roy Orbison's fluctuating weight and yo-yo dieting may have contributed to his untimely death. While it's true that Orbison struggled with weight issues throughout his life, it's important to note that his actual cause of death was officially attributed to a heart attack. But in 2018, a pathologist named Michael Hunter contributed to a show called Autopsy The Last Hours Of, which talks about the final stages of the lives of famous people whose lives were cut short. In this interview, he hypothesized that Orbison's tendency to have substantial weight gain, followed by extreme dieting, played a part in Orbison's death. He argued that kind of dieting, quote, would have undoubtedly placed tremendous strain on his heart. Roy Orbison had a history of health problems, including high blood pressure and heart disease, which are known risk factors for heart-related issues. 
it's believed that these pre-existing conditions, combined with his intense touring schedule and stress associated with his demanding career, may also have contributed to his heart attack. While yo-yo dieting can have negative effects on one's health, including metabolic changes and potential strain on the cardiovascular system, it's difficult to establish a direct causal relationship between Orbison's weight fluctuations and his fatal heart attack. The Truth About Roy's Dark Glasses Roy was most often seen wearing dark glasses, which became an iconic part of his image. There are several reasons behind his choice to don these shades, both practical and personal. It was often assumed that Orbison was secretly blind, or even that he was an albino, but neither was true. Orbison did have very poor vision, and he was prescribed thick lenses as a child. He had several eye issues, including astigmatism, strabismus, and hyperopia. So even as he became an adult and a famous musician, he'd been wearing glasses his entire life. However, the sunglasses look came about by happenstance. His sons put out a book entitled The Authorized Roy Orbison, and in it, they told the story of how Roy ended up wearing his trademark glasses. He was touring in England at the time. He had intended to bring with him his normal glasses as well as some prescription sunglasses for general outdoor use. But he accidentally left his regular glasses on a plane in the U.S. right before he was slated to leave for the tour in the U.K., and since there wasn't time to get another pair, he had to fly across the pond with only his sunglasses. He then arrived in England, and the press took photos of him as he left the plane. It was assumed that he wore the sunglasses to look cool, so that was the image that stuck. Of course, beyond the practical reasons, Orbison's decision to wear dark glasses also carried a certain mystique and stage presence. The shades added an enigmatic quality to his persona, creating an air of intrigue and coolness. They became a signature trademark, contributing to his unique image as a rock and roll icon. Moreover, Orbison's personal insecurities played a role in his choice to wear the glasses. Early in his career, he felt self-conscious about his looks and believed that his eyes appeared small. Wearing the dark glasses allowed him to maintain a level of privacy and hide his perceived imperfections, giving him a sense of confidence and empowerment on stage. According to his sons, he also had dyed his hair jet black since he was quite young. The combination of practicality, mystique, and personal insecurities all contributed to Roy's decision to wear dark glasses. They became an integral part of his identity as an artist, and their presence further elevated the legend and allure surrounding him. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised to hear the story of the real reason why Roy Orbison wore those dark glasses? Let us know in the comments section below.